In today's video, we are going to be making these customized clouds with an After Effects. We are going to be able to change the shape, how complex they are, and you can even change the color of the sky and the color of the clouds themselves. Let's just go ahead jump right into it and I will explain more as we go. Okay, go ahead and create a new composition. Just name it and press OK. I am going to come up to the top bar here and go layer, new solid, and go ahead and call this cloud. Press OK, come over to Effects and Presets and type in Fractal Noise. Uh, drop it onto our layer and go Cloudy, Spline. Uh, the numbers that I'm putting in really aren't overly important. I mean, you can follow along just for um, just to make sure it's kind of looking the same but I'm actually going to show you how to add a drop uh, some controllers in a second so that you can actually just completely customize the way these clouds are going to look um, that's fine just go make sure your playhead is at the beginning and just click offset turbulence here and we're going to go to the end and this is just to make it look like it's blowing in the wind a little bit. Um, I don't want major movement, but if you do, this is the point where you're going to be doing that. Um, of course you can come back later, but this is where you will find it. So, go ahead, right click on that, pre-compose clouds, and just make sure to click move all attributes, press OK. And we are going to create a new solid. This one will be clouds. And I'm going to leave this one white. And I'm going to go another one. I'm going to call this sky. Choose a nice blue for this. Okay, on the effects and presets, I'm just going to grab a gradient ramp. Drop it on our sky. Again, you do not have to use the exact colors that I am doing because I'm going to show you in a second how we can um, have a little drop box to change that color. Press OK and do the same on this on the clouds, but this is just going to be both white for now. Alright, make sure this white is on the top and the clouds comp is on the bottom. Just go track map, clouds, and make sure this is set to luma map. Now we are going to go to layer, new, null. Go ahead and Grab the slider control, drop that on there. I'm going to duplicate that four times. Just rename this to Cloud Controls. And I'm also going to grab the Color Controller. Grab that and I'm going to duplicate that four times as well. Okay, so just lock this up here for now and go into our clouds composition and go into our fractal noise and we're going to grab the contrast. So this says uh, select the property from which to inherit the value. So that means we're going to, if we change something here, and we want this to be affected by it, we're going to pick whip this up to here. And before I go any further, I'm just going to rename these. So,
Our contrast, you can see that this has switched to zero, so we'll fix this back up in a second. The brightness, the scale, and the complexity. So I'm going to set that back to what we had before. 672 minus 459. 253 and it was 4.5 for the complexity. Okay, and then we need to go to the clouds. Um, and again, we're inheriting the value. So if I change this to white here, it's going to go back here. And same for our sky. And there we go, so now I'm certain that I remember a way to change this, but I'm not going to cover it right now. If you drag it in here, you're going to lose your settings because um, obviously this number is way higher than the 0 to 100, but you can just drag it up and down here. You can also go back into your fractal settings and play around to get something more cloudy if you prefer it. But I created this so I could do things quickly the way that I needed it. And hopefully you can use that as well. But yes, if you go in and you uh, play around more with the offset turbulence and just the fractal noise settings itself, you can get even more customization. That is it for today everyone, make sure to like and subscribe if this is the kind of content you are looking for, I make After Effects tutorials on this channel. Wishing you all the best on the project that you are working on, make sure to click this right here because this is the video that YouTube thinks that you should watch next. See you in the next one, bye!